Well, time to do another modular building. Yeah, here is a non-Lego set by Knight, Knife Liz. Uh, this is the corner post office. We got this probably about a year or two ago. For sure, more than a year ago. Uh, it's no longer available, but we got it from Amazon. Um, had it sitting here on the um, in the rack. Everything was still in the bags. So decided to go from trains, trucks to modular buildings. At this point, what you're looking at is the first um, first two sets of bags. I'm working on the third set. Average is about four or five bags per set. I think there's 10 sets, so roughly about 40, 50 bags. Uh, this is 4,004 pieces. So, and this is actually a really nice modular building. Um, you know, it's got a lot of detail. I mean, you know, it's like nice seeing, you know, these non-Lego modular buildings that are, you know, that really do compete with Lego in the sense of modular buildings themselves. I know they're not Lego, but man, I sure wish Lego would do, you know, modulars like this one, especially the post office here. Um, so right now I already got the, this is the, the first floor and this part here is the counter for the post office. A lot of detailing in there for the counter. And you also got the back inside here. So this is a stairway um, right here. And then we're just going to go up to the second floor. Then back here is the back side of the post office. Let's get a little bit more light in there. So it's basically the area where the postal worker would work, sorting mail and things like that. Um, back door here. And then this is also, there's two doors, um, one on each side. So you get a, a door here. And then it's supposed to have another one on the other side of here. I mean, I know this is like only partially done, but I thought I would show it as it progressed through it. Um, a lot of little pieces. But that's typical for a Mazur, but I mean, it just seems like I've been putting the tiniest little pieces together. You know, especially up in this area. I mean, I guess if you want to have detail, you have uh, a lot of little pieces in order to give you that. And then like, these back areas here, um, yeah, they're kind of like, uh, I guess it'd be like where the mail would be sorted. Um, so it's actually pretty amazing putting them together. I mean, that I probably spent like 20 minutes on each one of those, this, and then probably a couple hours just on this whole section right here, you see in. But yeah, so you know, um, I think we got two of these knife list modular ones and you know i don't remember what i paid for it but i think it was between like the hundred dollar range 100 and 125 dollar range for it um but if you want a really nice modular set um or nice sets that are made you know uh this knife flies knife liz brand um not only do we have the the modular buildings. Um, let's see, what else was it I put together? I think it was the uh, Botanical Garden. Um, yeah, did that. And then now doing this modular building. The cool part is they come with lighting. The lighting is included. I put, them around, put it over here somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah. And if I can reach it. See if this is no. Oh, this is the lighting for. Let's see which one's this for. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is for the. This is another one. This is the the one for the the non Lego club set, uh, by, uh, Symbol Bricks. 
or symbol block, symbol, yeah, symbol bricks. Anyway, comes with a lighting kit and the uh, the uh, lighting kit that also comes with this one, like the botanical gardens. Um, basically, uh, plugs into uh, I think a USB port or connectors. But I'll add more to this video, and then I'll get to get the lighting. I'll do uh, I'll record some more here when I get the second floor done. Right now, I got the bags number three here that I'm starting on. And over to my left, I got bags number four, and then number five and number six are over here. Um, probably notice I mentioned about the pans. Using these pans. But I put some, uh, I got some black poster board, cut it to fit. And the reason that is, is because before putting in all the new lighting, I mean, it's much brighter. But as I'm sitting here, I'm getting a lot of reflection back in my face from the pans. And I was like, man, this is a lot of glare. And it's easier for me to see the pieces if they're on black. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to put the poster board on the pans and see how that works. And man, those pieces really stand out now and no more glare. But I mean, I guess there's, uh, you know, you got your pros and cons from, you know, having new, having lots of light to not having enough. And it's one of those cases where I have lots of light and just had to figure out a way to um, work around with it with the black poster board. But I'm kind of rambling on like I like always do. But my point is, is just to talk about this set here. And uh, so I'll, I'll do some more on it. Like I mentioned, you know, I don't, I don't think they, they don't include uh, uh, minifigs in their sets, but they do have a, a vehicle. There's a picture of the lighting set there in the, in the manual. Um, so far, the, uh, was it? It's like 195 pages of a book, like I think like 500, 500 some steps you got to go through. Let me see. 566 steps. But the, the manual is nice. It's laid out real nice. And it's on the average of probably about six pieces per step. So that makes it much easier. And then they, they do a really good job of, you know, pointing things out. I think one of the other things I like um, that they put, like, the count for, you know, um, on the tile pieces, when you have a tile here, they'll put like a, uh, you know, whether it's a one by four or a two by four, you know, for that size of the tile piece. So sometimes, like, let me go find one of those. If you have like a one by six and a one by eight tile pieces, they look so similar to each other when you got them laid down, like here. I don't think Lego does it with the tile pieces. If you can see that there, let me see if I can, yeah. So you can see where it says one by six, one by four, one by three. So they're marking them. So give you the indication of the sizes of the tiles, uh, which is really nice, especially when you got them all laid out over there like that. Um, all right, so let me uh, get back to putting this together and then I'll come back when I get the second floor done. And here we are, about halfway through with this set. Looking at the uh, Night Liz set still. Just thought I would keep going and add as I go with this video here. So this is the first floor of the post office. This part's done. I showed some of it already earlier when I was going through the process of building it. So there you're looking at the post office counter and and so on. Um, got the seats in there now and the walls are all done and the exterior. Um, with the exterior items, the post, the mailboxes in this bush here. And a bench and a street lamp. And you've got the really giant telephone in here. Uh, so yeah, and then I think I showed the, the rest of this here earlier, 
just now you can see the back of the with the green decorative wall sections there. And then, so now that's for the first floor, the post office. And the set of stairs there, which is right here where my finger is pointing, the door, that's gonna take you up <clears throat> to the second floor, which is this. This is the art studio, painting art studio. So you got your chairs with your easel boards there and tables, I'm assuming that's gonna be where like paint brushes and paints are gonna go. Probably come in later bags. I uh, got the first four sets of bags done. Getting ready to start on the fifth set. But, uh, so yeah, you got <clears throat> nice little coffee table there, some drinks, lamp, some art on the wall over there. Um, this here is probably, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just an outside exterior balcony area. You know, if you're in there uh, breathing in too much of that paint, I think you need to go out there and get some air. That's where you're going to go is right here. <laughs> anyway, um, so you got uh, the back sides of the windows there. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess this to be the back, the front of the second floor. I think that's the front because, well, it's one side of it because this is where the front's going to come out since it's on a corner. Um, let's see what else. Back wall, there's that balcony in the back. And as I said, this is this, uh, you came in the, the set of stairs that you would come into. Hmm. You know, looking at this, how do we get the book? Because, let me see which side that, where the first floor to the second floor goes. Uh, yeah. This, here's your door to the second floor. So this would be where the stairs are gonna come out. Wait, where do the stairs come? Oh, I see. Missed that part. Now if you could see it down in there, bring the light over. Here, there's an opening underneath the stairs. So the first four stairs would come up and you would walk around this way. I guess I didn't see it because of the black poster board underneath of there. But anyway, so yeah. That first floor door is going to line up with this. And you're going to have this. You see the rest of it there. So the next part for the second floor is going to be this side over the front and the side. And then I'll start on the third floor. But yeah, I mean, for it being a, you know, the set that it is, it actually, everything goes together really nice and tight. Um, haven't had it. Any problems with like, you know, clutching or the pieces or whatever. Actually, sometimes they, they're a little tighter than what you expect. Um, let's see what else. The only thing I thought was kind of just when I put this piece together, the wall art. I was like, what in the world is this supposed to be? And then I realized it was a wall art. And then this is this little item here. It's just another little decorative art piece right there. But beyond that, that's about it as far as the second floor painting art studio or yeah all right let me keep building get bags number five through let's see bags bags five through ten there's not many of those bags about four as i said about four bags per set um maybe five just depends but any i'll come back once i get this done and then have it up on top of here and then be starting on the on the third floor all right see when that see when i come back okay now i got the the second floor is actually done now just want to show that right quick before i start on the third floor um just the things that i finished up um right after i shot the last portion was these uh, framings here that go around the windows on the front two sides. I gotta say that was probably the hardest part is these here because there's, there's four of them. But there's so many little pieces there. You can see little single tiles. Um, but yeah, took a 
it's layered like, uh, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five. It's like five, you know, five layers or four. Here, turn it sideways. You can see it there. So you got the, the single ones and then uh, the plates that are in there and then a couple other things and then another plate back here. So more or less the same, it's just a lot of layering to get that look there. It does look nice. Um, I don't know. I kind of kind of 50-50 on the color there because to me it would just, it might have been better for it bit like two tones of tan here to kind of stick with this color overall. But I guess that's what makes it stand out, you know, on the top. Kind of goes along with the art studio. Uh, the other thing that was uh, fun to do was this uh, overhang here. Um, it's just built up pieces there. You can see it's not much to it, but just getting it to set just right and uh, the way it's hinged there, it wants to kind of ride up. I think you have like these, uh, I'm not sure what you call these, look like horn pieces. You can see them there. I'm for sure they should come forward of that. And then it'll probably make it where you'd be able to go down a little better. Yeah, probably forward of it. Now I'm not riding on it. Looks a little better like that. Uh, see what else? Getting the, putting the second floor on top of the first floor. Yeah, it was pretty hard. It's uh, it really tight to get it down. You know, the fit in between spaces. At first, I thought maybe I had something on the bottom of it. You know, when I first started the second floor, you know, when the the plates on the bottom was off and it wasn't going to line up. But it just took a little bit of fin finesse, <laughs> anyway, to uh, get her in there. Actually, another word for finesse is push it, <laughs> shove it, cram it, get it in there. No, I got it in there. But all right, so um, yeah, I'll come back with the show the. The third floor, which is a ceramic art um, studio. I'll shoot the, uh, where you can see the insides. And then once it's all together, I'll put it on and probably go ahead and put the, the, the roof on too. And then finish up this video all together for this uh, the set. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the video, it was uh, 4,000, 4,004 pieces. And I could say there's 4,004 pieces so far. Well, I think I'm halfway there. But uh, I'm on bags six and seven. So number bags number six are coming up. But you know, uh, I'm just going to interrupt talking about this right quick to talking about actually getting one. I was looking online to see, um, you know, if anybody had them. Checked Amazon and a couple other places and they were saying they're unavailable. I mentioned already I got this probably a year or two ago. It's just been sitting on the shelf. And uh, But if you by chance happen to see it someplace that you can get it, and you like the look of the set, grab it. Because uh, I don't think they're actually making it anymore. So there might be some places that still have some for sale. But as far as I know, um, I haven't seen them anywhere else. But yeah, if you like it, grab one. They're not very expensive, as I mentioned already. So, all right, I'll see you when I uh, come back with the third floor and the roof. Loads of fun.